the Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Thursday morning, it is the 14th day of June, Flag Day, and uh, running a little bit later this morning at 10 minutes after 4. Radar is already busy this morning. We have a complicated thunderstorm day ahead with maybe two rounds of storms, perhaps one this morning and one later in the day. But the main point on this video is a pattern change ahead, an important pattern change where high pressure will be building above us at 20,000 feet. And that will make the storms thin out in number eventually, not right away. It may take more towards, you know, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll get into how that's going to evolve and what it means for your forecast. And also, what about uh, Invest 91L heading to the Gulf of Mexico? What's the latest on that? No doubt about it. It is a complex pattern today. Uh, the atmosphere is in turmoil, and that's going to lead to a good chance of thunderstorms today, maybe a couple of rounds. In fact, as I make this here in the middle of the night, you can see the round of showers and storms dominating much of west, moving into central Alabama at this hour. And later in the day, uh, future radar is going to be very busy. I see, even see a twist you see the, a twist in the pattern there? That indicates low pressure in the upper atmosphere. So scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms today, we may not reach 91 for the afternoon high temperature with the wealth of clouds and showers around. Friday, tomorrow, more showers and thunderstorms around. I think the coverage will be a roughly 50-50 tomorrow, but storms will start to be a little bit more scattered in nature maybe 40% on Saturday and 30% or less perhaps by Sunday. So changes are happening in the upper atmosphere, and there it is. A ridge of high pressure is building over the southeastern U.S. as opposed to the trough, the weakness that has been over us for several days. So I think by Monday, storms will be few and far between. The radar gets a break. Isolated storms perhaps, maybe not many. And then the same thing uh, on Tuesday. So uh, that'll be a nice change uh, to give the radar kind of a break, and uh, we'll see more sunshine as well. So at least a 50-50 chance tomorrow, but I'm tapering off the rain chances to 40% Saturday, 30% Sunday. I may even go lower on the Monday and Tuesday rain chances. I'll probably end up at 20% for those days. So what happens when uh, there's fewer storms, where there's more sunshine and the temperatures zoom up? Look at what the GFS is doing to the temperatures as we get into Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, well, well up into the 90s again. The beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. Rain chance is running you know, a little bit higher than normal, 50% on Friday and Saturday, 40% chance Sunday with a high in the mid-80s. I'm not worried about it, and I'm heading down there, so, you know, uh, it doesn't concern me at all. Well, Gulf water temperature, 83. What about Invest 91L out there in the Western Caribbean moving into the Yucatan now? Well, it doesn't have much activity with it. You can see the flare-up of thunderstorms near the Yucatan. But the National Hurricane Center is now giving this only about a 10% chance of development as the system moves across the Yucatan and into the Bay of Campeche. So that's the latest on Invest 91L. And as far as the spaghetti models, it takes it up into Texas and kind of curves it around that upper-level high that I was just talking about and moves it into the middle of the country. So a low risk that we're going to see tropical development. This is the European tropical storm uh, probability, so uh, I don't think uh, that's going to happen. But we have tropical storm Bud now, formerly Hurricane Bud, heading to Baja, California, spreading some moisture up towards uh, Arizona and New Mexico where they need it. Hey, thanks to Michael Paget who sent us this picture, a beautiful shot from Pensacola Bay. I think this was sunrise yesterday morning. Uh, and, um, Michael, I put this on our weather app. Thank you. And, by the way, you can submit pictures for our weather app. Go to the weather app and go down to the photos and just hit submit. So that's it. There'll be another video for you first thing tomorrow morning at 4.45 a.m. I'll be live on the radio this morning with uh, Greg and Jay at uh, 6 o'clock. 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Emily is out today. And don't forget, you can uh, watch us on TV. I do a weather update with Ryan on CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 5.50 a.m. That's pretty cool from uh, the Blue Water Weather Center. And then at 6.45, we are live in the News Talk studio, and we are interacting with their morning crew, and that's always a, a fun thing, too. So join us later on, and your forecast, whatever you want it, across the dial on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations. Have a good day today. I'll see you later. Rich Thomas Weather.